at the heart of the system is the compressor. Mm. What change would you expect on a compressor that can handle CO2? So there's not much, you know, depending if it's on the subcritical side or the transcritical side. When I talk about the transcritical side, that just means the medium temp side or the, the cold temperature side. When I talk about subcritical, that's the low temperature side. So really the low temperature or the subcritical side, they're like 410 rated. They run in the same pressures around, they run 200 PSI and 400 PSI. So it's similar to 410. You know, 410 might be running around 135 and 430 or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it's very similar. So now on the higher side, so on the transcritical side, the higher pressure, the medium temperature, they're constructed with a higher burst pressure rating. So what that really means is that they're rated for like 2000 PSI compared to their standard compressors that are not that high. Is that the only difference? Oh, well, no, well, there's a few other differences that the cylinders aren't the same because CO2 is way more efficient than other refrigerants. So when you look at a 404A compressor, their cylinders are real big, say for 200,000 BTU compressor with a CO2 compressors are a lot smaller. And the components inside have to be built a little thicker. That but we sense. need technicians to look inside these compressors to understand what's going on. The, all the compressor manufacturers, and I worked with them for years, what they've seen is a massive decline in technicians inspecting compressors. I was with Tecumseh last week and talking to them, and they had the same issues. And I talked with Bitzer about it, and I worked for Copeland for years, and I inspected hundreds to thousands of compressors with technicians over the years. And you can tell if they looked in them or not. And this is what manufacturers want you to do. They want you to look inside to figure the problem out so the next time it doesn't happen. So you understand what caused the failure. So there's not one, two, three, four failures of the same problem because you didn't fix the issue. Because a lot of times, oh, it's a compressor issue. Oh, it's a DOA, dead on arrival. No. These compressor manufacturers make good compressors. The big ones anyway. Yeah, I think uh, I was talking to my friends at East Coast, which is a distributor here in North Carolina, and they'll, they'll have 20, 20 compressors sitting out back, and likely 10 to 15 of them are still functional. They were just turned in because of a boo-boo and troubleshooting. Yeah. Happens oh, quite yeah. a bit, evidently. If you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.